Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to manage the spell check feature on Notepad. So yes, Microsoft has been proactively updating Notepad for a few years and now the note taking app finally includes a feature to check grammar and autocorrect misspelled words. Okay, let's dive into the steps to enable and configure the spell check for Notepad on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything to you and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Also, I will include a link for the written tutorial in the video description. Any updates or additional information will be included in that post. So to configure spell check for Notepad, open start and look for the app. And then open the settings page from the top right. Scroll down and at the end of the page, you're going to find the new spelling section with two options, including spell check and autocorrect. To enable spell check, just turn on the option. And then you can also click the setting. And from here, you can turn on and off the spell check for each of the file formats that are supported on the note taking app. And one of the uh, great aspects about the spell check for Notepad is that it is only available for certain formats and not for code files such as HTML, CSS, HT access, JSON, or JavaScript files because the spell check will be a mess on those files. You can also turn on autocorrect, which is the last option. And as the name implies, if you make a typo that the app can identify as an error and it knows how to correct it, it will automatically correct that for you. Now let's see the feature in action. So I'm just going to type a word with a spelling error. And as you can see, Notepad has detected it as incorrect, but because it's not sure the word that I'm trying to write, it's only marking it with an error, but it's not automatically correcting it. So if you want to correct this word, we just need to right click on the actual word. And then from the spelling menu, we can see the different suggestions. You can also ignore the spelling correction, or you can add a specific word to a dictionary, but this is not to the dictionary for Notepad. Instead it's the dictionary for Windows 11. So there is a connection between the spell check included on Windows 11 and the spell check for Notepad. And you can also turn off spell check for a specific file with this option right here. Now let's say that you type the word correctly and it's marked as an error. You can right click on it and add it to the dictionary. And later on, you realize that the spelling was incorrect. You can right click in the word again, and then you can select the remove from dictionary and then just make the corrections and just continue typing on your text file. But let me show you that if you add the misspelled word to the dictionary, it is going to appear in the custom dictionary for Windows 11. And to show you that, I'm going to open the settings app. And then I'm going to go to privacy and security. And then right here on this page, we're going to go to the custom dictionary. And in here, we're going to see that we have the word that we added. However, from here, we can only clear the entire dictionary. So the best way to remove a specific word is just to type it again on the app and then just remove it from the dictionary. Now, if the spell check is not for you and it came enabled by default on your computer, you just need to go to the settings page and just turn off autocorrect and then a spell check. Also, if you want a spell check and you don't want autocorrect, you can just enable the spell check and disable the other one. Or you can have autocorrect enable and the other one disable. It is important to know that at the time of this recording, spell check for Notepad is available on version 11, 2402, the 22 and higher releases. Also, it is currently only available on the latest preview of Windows 11 through the Windows Insider program. But eventually it will be available to everyone. And that's it. That's how you manage the spell check settings for the updated version of notepad remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing